Good afternoon, YouTube. Today I'm continuing my testing on these, the new Harbor Freight folding 100 watt panel. Uh, the last time I tested it, it was rather cold out and it was uh, connected to the Jackery 880. Today I have it connected to my, uh, to my house. I got a pretty long wire here. It's about 60 feet. And we'll be testing it connected to uh, the Renogy 40 amp uh, charge controller. You can see we have full sun, so hopefully we make some nice power. So let's go inside and check it. Okay, we're back inside now, and it is partly cloudy outside, so a cloud must have moved over because we're only making, uh, you know, uh, up here the power is heading up a little bit. There's a. Uh, what I think I saw it go as high as like 88. And now it's back down to 57. There must be a cloud in the area. Oh, here's the power back up. Oh, look at that. 121, 120, 121 amps high. Holding around 160, back up to 190. Yeah, so this single panel right now in full sun connected to this runner to charge controller is inputting approximately 120 watts wow those panels work great i did speculate that uh instead of connecting two 50 amp panels together that harbor freight had uh had them connect basically two 60 watt panels together and uh you know call it a 100 watt panel because this thing is smoking out there right now. Look at that, 120 watts. And let's go up here to the Renergy. Let's see what kind of current we're putting out of it. Wrong way. So the panel's making 16.7 volts, which is perfect. And it's outputting 8.66 amps. Okay, that's what the, uh, the, the, uh, the charge controller is putting out. So what it does is it takes in the 16 volts from the panel, reduces it down to a voltage that the batteries can handle. And when you reduce the voltage, you increase the amperage. So the panels are probably putting out about actually six watts, you know, 5.8 to six, excuse me, 5.8 to six amps. But then the uh, charge controller, you know, when it lowers the voltage for the battery, it increases the amperage output. So if we look back down here, what's actually going into the battery, it's down to 88, 77. So there must be a cloud moving over right now. So I'm gonna leave this connected up and uh, top off these batteries. And then uh, we'll report back at the end. Okay, YouTube, uh, the sun is kind of bailed on us here. I mean, we had some nice sunny weather when we were looking at it, when it was inputting 120 watts. I've been monitoring it. It's been going up and down. You know, it gets about 24 watts when it's a big cloud over top of it. And then uh, I saw it go as high as, uh, you know, 112 again. Never saw that 122 or 120. You see right now, sun is up there. Gonna pop out here in just a second behind that big cloud. So as, as soon as it comes out, we're gonna head right back down now and see what kind of power we'll get out of the panel in between the clouds. Okay, we're back downstairs and then we saw that that cloud, the sun was about to pop out the edge of that cloud and it has, so it looks like in between uh, the cloud, now we're getting about 115, now 114 watts, so I mean, that, that, those panels are smoking. And that's real good. I mean, it's only 42 degrees out today, so it's not super hot. I'll test them again on the Jackery and the Renergy charge controller here once the temperature is in the 80s and above to see what it'll do. But if you get this performance in the winter when the days are short and you need power, then uh, these, are, these are what you need because these are smoking. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up now, and uh, we'll see you next time when uh, we test it when it gets hot out. All right, bye-bye.